Alicia and Gary join us now, and they have been preparing a great, a great way to celebrate Grandparents' Day by hosting the first Catholic Grandparents Pilgrimage in Massachusetts. Uh, so thank you so much for joining us today. Okay, and very yeah. colorful, too. Thank you very much. Very, very colorful. Uh, tell us about the mission of Catholic Grandparents. Well, the mission of grand, uh, Catholic Grandparents is to be able to help grandparents pass on the faith and to keep prayer at the heart of family life. And, you know, this, this all happened in your life and now in our lives because you weren't feeling well. Can you tell us that story? Yes, that's true. Last year I was laid up with a dislocated hip and a broken leg, and I had uh, a lot of time on my hands, and I received a beautiful brochure from my godchild who had gone to Our Lady of Knock in Ireland, and she picked up one of these brochures about Catholic Grandparents Association. I loved it, and I started to work on getting it started in the United States. I'm, I'm amazed, too. Uh, right next to me is a prayer for grandparents. And I, this is the first time I've ever seen anything signed by the Pope. Mm -hmm. That's the actual signature at the bottom of Pope Emeritus Benedict. And uh, Gary, how did you come by this? Because this is an original copy. Well, actually, my wife came by it uh, when she started the organization. And uh, I, I'm just trying to think of where you did get it, dear. Well, I'm trying to. I, I wanted to. I was got given it by Catherine Wiley, who is the founder of the organization. And so I had it framed. And we use it to bring in it to all of our meetings. And we say our prayer for grandparents um, every time that we get together. But it's also on the back of a brochure that I, I have for everyone who would like one. And uh, Pope Benedict wrote this specially for Catholic Grandparents Association. Mm. So I, that. I have to tell you that. When I was growing up, I was very, very close with my grandparents. Mm -hmm. And I remember so many fond memories. And now today, my kids uh, are very close with their grandparents. Why is it important to have a Catholic grandparents uh, group like this? What, what does it do? Well, the grandparents today are in the midst of watching their families going away from the faith. Mm. And they are seeing their children so busy taking their, uh, their, their grandchildren to games, to school events, everything but church. They don't have time for church anymore. And there are many divorces in our families nowadays, and grandparents don't get a chance to see the grandchildren as a result of these breakups. Or they have the parents are just so busy, they don't have time to bring the children over to see them. So they have the, these grandparents are carrying around these hurts, mm -hmm. and they have a great place to talk about it together because they don't dare bring it up to their families because maybe their family won't even come to see them ever. You know, they'll get mad at them or something because they're complaining. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's been a very uh, beautiful organization that we started just this past January. And every month we meet, we have masks, we have uh, devotions, uh, we have a beautiful breakfast afterwards mm -hmm. and talk. And then we learn a little bit more about our faith, how we can help uh, transmit it to our children as far as the value of baptism, the value of prayers, the value of receiving communion and adoration. I think you're right on target because <clears throat> as I was growing up, there were so many times that I would go to Mass with my grandparents because they would take us down to the Cape while my parents would be working. Mm -hmm. And they would talk, they, it wasn't just you'd go to Mass. It was more than that. They would talk about the faith. They would talk about who Jesus was in our lives and why he was important and what it meant to be Catholic. That's right. So what I see is, is a wonderful thing here, mm -hmm. that grandparents, really, I think it fleshes out the role even more of grandparents to be part of the fabric of our Catholic life. Do you think, too, that, that grandparents have a, a special in with their grandchildren just because of whom they are? Oh, definitely. You know, I, I have, I'm very close to my, my grandchildren mm -hmm. and take care of them, bring them to school a lot of the times, pick them up after school, and I see all the grandparents there doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we have a special... Uh, connection with our grandchildren, helping them with their homework, helping them with their prayers. Pope Francis himself said he attributes his vocation to the priesthood to his grandmother Rosa. Hmm. And uh, he, he said she just showed them the way to go, taught them their catechism at home. And um, so too, uh, Pope Benedict said the same thing. And Pope John Paul II is where Catherine Wiley started this organization back in 2002, and he approved of the organization also. It just received its formal statutes May 18th at the, in the Vatican. Uh, they had a special weekend for all the ecclesial movements, and the Catholic Grandparents Association received their full statutes as a lay organization of the church. Mm -hmm. I remember that. Yeah. And you know, my, my Nana, Genevieve, if she was alive <laughs> today, she would love to be part of this upcoming uh, uh, pilgrimage 
pilgrimage yes. uh, to the Divine Mercy uh, Shrine in Stockbridge. Can you tell us about that day and, and the schedule? Well, we certainly can. Uh, National Grandparents Day is September 8th this year, and we have uh, formulated a, a pilgrimage for grandparents and their families. Bring up everyone. There are many grandparents from this area, in fact, who would like to come, and there are no buses organized to bring them to the sh shrine this year. So hopefully next year there, we can get going on that and spread it for Boston way more. But, uh, you know, what, what do you want to get for your grandparent for, like, it's like a Mother's Day, but it's Grandparents' Day. Uh, they don't need anything anymore. We have enough clothes. We have enough everything. <laughs> but give them some time. You know, pick them up and say, hey, Graham, Grandpa, I'm going to take you up to Divine Mercy Shrine this year. And we're going to have fun activities for the kids. We have a, a number of high school confirmandos going to be up there running all kinds of games for the, for the children nice. between the faith activities, workshops on divine mercy. We've got a pizza lunch that we're going to have ready, a beautiful rosary procession amongst the new life-size stations of the cross that they've put uh, together at Divine Mercy Shrine, which are absolutely beautiful. There are also many other paths that you can take up at Divine Mercy Shrine to see the Lord's Grotto, to see the Immaculate Conception Candle Shrine, there, there's just all these different paths you can take and walk around, and it's on top of this beautiful mountain, Eden Hill in Stockbridge, and it's, you're just like so close to heaven. You want to touch the clouds and say, hi, God, how are you? You know, it's really a We're, fantastic place. Sure. It's beautiful. And when you talk about grandchildren, a lot of times people think of, of these six-year-old kids and these eight-year-old kids, but grandchildren can be 20 years old, too, and it's a totally different relationship, isn't it, Gary, at that point? Absolutely, you know, and grandparents uh, are, are great role models for the uh, all-aged grandchildren, you know, whether it's as simple as saying uh, prayers before dinner or prayers after dinner, whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner. So they're just good role models. You know. It's great having you guys here today to, to explain the importance not only of grandparenting, but also uh, the day that's coming up and the very uh, wonderful prayer that people can say. Is there a, a website or place that people could get copies of this prayer and this pamphlet? You can get on uh, Catholic Grandparents Association. Okay. Uh, that's the website. And they have all the different resources. There's also resources for anyone who would like to start a branch in their own parish where the, after daily mass or something, you could meet once a month and say a rosary in communion for all your grandchildren. Um, and that's, that's all on, on that website Great. and how to start the meetings. Catholic they, they Grandparents Association. Association. They yeah. have this booklet that you can get also, which also gives lots of ideas on what you can talk about at the, at the meetings as far as reinforcing your own faith. Because we forget, too, you know, we get a little senioritis <laughs> coming in when you're getting your 60s and 70s. Aren't you glad you had the hip replacement? None of this would be possible. <laughs> I don't know if she's going to agree with you on that I one. I will say this, though. If I knew that it was, I was supposed to wear green today, I would have worn the green because I see all the green going well, on. Well, the Kelly green for Ireland. There you That's have where it. it all started, there in England. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Once again, you know, I know that my kids have great grandparents, and I loved my grandparents, so mm -hmm. always good to hear that we're doing something with grandparents. Well, you know, we always have to remember one thing. We're all God's grandchildren. Sure. There you go. We Absolutely. are all I like God's that. grandchildren. Absolutely. Well,